I think it has just huge potential um, in, in, as a city, right, to sort of do what Austin, Texas did and become a magnet um, and solve the real problems that um, most of us have in scaling up a business. Perth's really interesting for me. Uh, I spent uh, a good chunk of my career in the US in, in a place called Austin, Texas. And uh, Perth sort of reminds me of, you know, Austin, Texas, you know, and its relationship to other markets and things. It's sort of the little cousin to bigger things, New York and Silicon Valley. Uh, and it has a very similar climate. There's a lot of tech out here. There's a lot of people working on really interesting projects and startups and ideas. Perth is perfectly positioned probably better position than any other city in Australia nearly on the doorstep of Asia. So your access uh, to get in and out of the Asian markets is really attractive. So that ability for Perth to become a gateway, I think also for some of the most successful Asian tech businesses and become a base for them and, and, and an easy access point for them into Australia. I could go on all day about the logic of investing in Perth, right? Um, it, it's lower cost, it has good government and industry support, you, there's great entrepreneurs out here that you can get access to. There's lots of logical reasons to come to Perth, but I tend whenever I come out here to look at the less logical reasons. Um, and I know it's a little, um, you know, it, it doesn't sound like the most rational business making thing, but lots of good people, great restaurants, great food, great climate, great beaches. You're on the edge of just natural beauty. I mean, what's it like? It takes you 20 minutes to get from the airport to uh, the middle of town. Uh, there's lots of love about Perth rationally in terms of building a business here, but there's just like lots of good reasons to be here.